I felt something in my heart. It was, it was sort of like being in love for the first time. Oh, oh my gosh. God. <laughs> it was so cool. It I was mean, awesome. it was really like, I seriously could feel like cosmic beams like going through my body. Today, uh, well, we started on our adventure two days ago. Um, we are from Pennsylvania. We're from Westchester, Pennsylvania. The reason why we drove down this far is to catch the uh, path of totality for the great American solar eclipse of 2017. We've known about the Georgia Guidestones for about four or five years. A friend of ours down in Orlando told us about it. And then when we found out that the Guidestones would be in the path of totality, we were like, too perfect an opportunity. The Guidestones were uh, envisioned by a gentleman who came to town back in the late 70s by the name of R.C. Christian. Mr. Christian had a vision to build uh, the monument which you see behind me. This is my preferred spot. I have been here like 10 times, mostly in uh, equinox and solstices. So I love this place. Uh, it has a lot of messages and a lot of alignments. Its uh, architecture is amazing. It's a lot of math in order to get all the alignments. So someone had to think through it to get it done the way it is. Because we haven't had a full solar eclipse across the continental United States in 99 years, this has got to be a sign of something. God said that he was going to use the sun and the moon as signs of the times that we're in, and that they were even going to point towards his return. And I believe his return is coming soon, and I believe this eclipse is a sign that it is indeed very soon. Uh, the fanciful part of my mind would love to believe that, you know, there would be omens connected to the eclipse. Um, in reality, though, I hope not. <laughs> There was white and this a little bit black. It was actually pretty good, cool one. It went from like the end and the beginning of it. It showed the light and that's the moon and that's the sun, like a mixture of all three. And that's, that was just really cool, amazing. We had to be here. This is a phenomenal event. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. So can never pass up a once in a lifetime thing. <laughs>